In this video, let's see a special case of measurement error in a splantor variable. Let's assume that this is the true model or the structure model. EK is the measurement error. It's equal XK, the observable variable, minus the real value of XK or actual value of XK. In other words, the measurement error is what you observe minus the true value. Let's isolate xk star and plug in the equation. And the result is we get this equation here. See that the new error term is composed by the original error term v minus this term here that has the measurement error. This is the equation that you are effectively estimating in the case of measurement error in the explanatory variable. You have the observed xk in your data set and not the true xk. Let's make a special assumption that the covariance of xk and the measurement error is equal to zero. In this case, you can estimate beta k without any problem. There is no problem of bias. See that if you are claiming that the covariance between measurement error and xk is zero, by consequence, the covariance between the measurement error and the x star k has to be different than zero. You might ask why the measurement error is uncorrelated with the observable value of xk, but it is correlated with the true value of xk star. We are just making extreme assumptions to get clear-cut results. For example, that in this situation, beta k is unbiased. In the next video, you are going to assume that this is not true, and then you can infer that the beta k will be biased. Let's get the variance of the new error term that's composed by v minus beta k times measurement error k. We assume that v and the ek they are independent. Then we get this clean expression for the variance. This is the variance of v, the first term, and this is the variance of the measurement error, the second term. And beta k becomes square because it is treated as a constant. The point here is to show that the new variance has this extra term that's positive because the square can only be positive. Then the standard errors of the regression will be bigger and the, all these betas will be less statistically significant. See that the, here you have square terms. That means depends on the magnitude of beta k and the measurement error, the standard errors might increase dramatically. Even though you don't have a bias problem here, this might be a problem for inference.